today we have a rigging inspection. Hey there! Since you all have been following us on our boat buying journey, you know we have been considering a number of boats, one of which is a Voyage 500. Well, we came down to the Keys to take a look at her, and after sailing her, we decided to move forward in considering her for purchase. And we wanted to share that adventure with you. As this video came together, we realized that we should make a video on the entire boat buying process. Uh, however, we haven't completed that process yet. So this video will seem a little bit incomplete because it's only going to focus on the rigging inspection and the marine survey. For those of you who have boating background, you might think that a rigging inspection is not necessary. And for most cases, it isn't. But since our plan is to circumnavigate, we wanted to ensure that our rigging was secure and structurally sound. Secondly, we had a marine survey. We were really fortunate, thank you Tracy, for some excellent recommendations in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And we ended up with a wonderful surveyor to help us with our survey. This person is worth his or her weight in gold because they really give you um, the information you need to be able to make a decision on whether the boat is fit for intended use and our intended use might be different from someone else's we want to circumnavigate the globe other people might want it just for a coastal cruiser and so the survey caters to what the client is going to use the boat for we hope you enjoyed this video that will talk about and show you the rigging inspection and the marine survey on the Voyage 500. I am headed over to the boat right now and there's the rigging team. The work of the rigging company is to go up and check all of the lines to make sure the mast is correctly positioned and strong. So right there there's a little monkey going up the mast right now to check the security of that mast. Hey guys! Alright, you guys doing alright? Sure, we'll talk about it after you're done. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah. To yeah. With the completion of the rigging inspection, our attention turned to the marine survey scheduled for the next day. So here I am at the boat yard waiting for the surveyor to show up. It's a beautiful morning. And I'm gonna take him and drive him to where the boat is. In Almorada, he's gonna get started and uh, work there for a couple hours and then we're gonna do the sea trial on the way to Key Largo to get hauled out. And here's the big machine that's going to take us out of the water. So there are very few that can pull a boat out that has a 27 foot beam. We have Ian, the inspector, on the boat, and he's working away over here. And we are hoping to make the noon bridge out to the ocean so we can make our way up to Key Largo and get this thing hauled out. During a boat inspection, which takes about three to four hours, an inspector goes through all of the boat and its systems for basic operation and adherence to applicable regulations and standards. He or she is looking for any warning signs that might recommend additional inspections by a specialist and determine the boat's overall value. Very exciting today, instead of going to the right, we are going to the left. And then we're gonna hang out here because we've gotta wait for the drawbridge to open. This is pretty cool. Every hour on the hour, the drawbridge opens and you just have to tell the person in the tower that you're interested in going through. So we're gonna hang out here for another 10 minutes and wait for it to open up to cross through to the Atlantic side. First time through a drawbridge. All right, traffic is stopped. Bridge bell's going. Gates are down. Snake Creek Bridge is famous for being the only remaining drawbridge operating in the Florida Keys. I believe it gets its name due to the snake-like sinuous path a boat must take to safely exit or enter the creek. We are on the Atlantic. 
Atlantic. It's pretty flat. We are en route to the boat yard to have the boat hauled out and uh, finish the survey. So it's uh, great being out on the on the big ocean. And right now we're doing the sea trial, right? Yep. A sea trial is just a fancy term for a test drive designed to test speed and maneuverability as well as to check for vibrations and observe other systems that can only be tested in the water. This usually takes up to a couple of hours. She's done. Good job, sweetie. Okay, it's really shallow. We're coming into the boat yard, and I'm over here looking down into the water to make sure that we're not going to hit anything because it's going to get to within like a foot or two, and we can run aground. So we're backing in right now. So it's crazy tight right here. We've got to get this thing in without it uh, banging up against the wall of the stern. Look how tight it is right here, man. It is really tight. Call outs as part of the pre-purchase survey are highly recommended and some insurance companies require this as a condition of coverage. Issues such as loose struts, bent or worn props, engine alignment issues and keel attachment deficiencies are just some of the possible faults only discoverable with a haul out. One of the tasks during a haul out is to check for delamination. This is why Ian is tapping the hull. Delamination is when the layers of fiberglass separate from each other or from the core. Whoa. Check the boat yard out, and we are way up in the air. And one wrong step could get super crazy. While the boat is hauled out at the expense of the buyer, an owner might take advantage of this time to complete some projects, like installing a seacock for a new water maker. This installation requires drilling a hole in the bottom of the boat. Boy, that gives me chills just thinking about it. But like a pro, Ted installed the seacock in record time, changed out the zinc on the sail drives, and ousted the barnacles that were bumming a free ride on the props. I mean, just looking at you in front of it, it's just, See the side? oh man, the scale, Crazy. yeah. With the survey and projects completed, we were really excited to be back in the water and ready for a beautiful sunset sail back to the slip. We now await the written report from the inspector, which should arrive in about a week. This report will include four things. The descriptions of the boat and each system on board, findings and recommendations divided into levels of importance, a statement of the boat's overall condition, and lastly, fair market and replacement values for the boat. This report and the findings already communicated throughout the day are the basis upon which a buyer makes a decision about whether to proceed with the purchase. It's a big decision. Eileen is coming in on Snake River, coming into the bridge. It's like a obstacle course, isn't it? It's like the slalom course. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at the beautiful sunset. Wow, and then back here, look how beautiful that is. And it's like a snaky course getting through these uh, buoys. And if you get to the left, to the right of them, you're going to run in ground. It gets really shallow and you can't see it uh, this time of the day. Wow, look at that. She's doing a good job. We're here. We're going to uh, make the 8 o'clock bridge. Otherwise, it's another hour. We've got eight minutes. So we're right on target. There's Captain Eileen. And there she goes. All the cars are stopped. And the bridge 
is coming up and we are to wait for her to go ahead and uh, to go under the bridge. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's amazing. How are you feeling? Confident? I was Ted here telling me what to do. No, totally Ted's, confident. I'm, I'm like right here. Ted can't get over here. Ted can't help you. How'd that feel, man? Awesome! Good job, congratulations! Yes. <laughs> I did it! Yay! Brought her into the dock! <laughs>